Remember when WhatsApp first came out? Also, it's really funny how I think it was 2012 or something like that. What's really funny about WhatsApp is that some countries love it. Like South America, I'm talking about Mexico specifically, but I think more places in South America, they love WhatsApp. Like it's everywhere. And in other countries, I, I don't think Canada's that into WhatsApp. I think you're probably more. Which country are you from? And let me know, is your country into WhatsApp? What's up? <laughs> wow, Andrew, I'm beating records here. What's up, Shopify world? Ooh, oh, that one is fresh. My name is my name is Andrew from EcoExperts.io. Welcome to another Shopify app review video. So this week we're looking at WhatsApp chat by a company, and listen to this. They're called a Super Lemon. My neighbor has a dog. Uh, I'll link to their Instagram below called Lemon, cutest dog in the world. And so this company is called Super Lemon. It's totally unrelated. I just thought I would share this with the world. <laughs> anyway, WhatsApp chat, what do they do? Well, they allow you to send abandoned cart emails, which, well, I guess not emails, which are super important. And um, they also allow you to do live chat all through WhatsApp. Sounds pretty cool, right? So we're gonna talk in this video, we're gonna show you the app, how it looks like, how to set it up. We're gonna show you its competitors, um, what it integrates with, yada, yada, yada. Do me a huge favor, guys. Please like and subscribe, it makes a huge difference. Second of all, we have a Slack app that you need to check out. If you use Slack and if you use Shopify, install our Slack app. Seriously, it, it can literally, it's free, and it can save you money and time because it posts news about the Shopify world into that Slack channel that it creates. All right, enough about that. Let's see the WhatsApp chat by Super Lemon. WhatsApp chat, an abandoned cart app is installed and we are on the WhatsApp chat settings. Our WhatsApp chat is currently disabled and we will enable it as soon as we configure our live chat. Okay, the first step is the phone number. Choose your country code and write your WhatsApp phone number. In case you don't know your country code, just click on the question mark here and you will be taken to a list of all country codes. But you should know your country code by now. If you are a paid user, you can also set your DND &D hours or do not disturb hours here, which will result in the button to be hitting during these hours. It's quite useful. The next section is reserved to the configuration of our CTA or call to action button and pre-filled message. First in line is a button, so click on change design button and a new window appeared. Here we have six basic designs. You can choose if you only want to show button or your team allows it, you can add button and text. If you are a paid member, you can have more options. These dark buttons are really eye-catching. Uh, we're going to stick with a free plan and we will choose this one right here. Click on save and now it is time to configure our chat button text. Pre-made text is chat with us, but my idea is to point out that this is a WhatsApp chat, so maybe we'll go with chat with us on WhatsApp. We will leave the message body text as is and jump to the greeting widget. I almost forgot this app allows you to include the current page URL in the message so when the customer contacts you, you know exactly where he or she encountered the problem. Okay, time for the greeting widget. This feature is available in the pro plans and in case you choose to upgrade, you can greet your store visitors with the customized title and help text in the greeting widget. Two templates are available, green and dark. Both look pretty awesome. We are only left with the advanced settings section. Here you can play with the button display, chat position and chat sizes. Uh, let's save our work by clicking on this button here and our WhatsApp chat is automatically enabled. So let's take a quick look at our demo shop but this time using our mobile and see what we have done. The chat button looks very good. It loaded fast, faster than the other live chat apps we reviewed so far. Let's click on it and send the test message. This is, I think, the first time we're doing this from a mobile and I love it. Just respond to the message directly from the device you are using and you are all done. And even when you are not on your computer, you can still chat with your customers. Okay, let's go back to the app dashboard and see what else we can do. From 
From the sidebar, you can click on CRM. This feature uh, is also available on PayPlan, and basically the app sends automated CRM messages using message templates approved by WhatsApp. WhatsApp requires an explicit opt-in to send an automated message to anyone, so this is the window where you can configure your opt-in widget. I know most of you guys were probably waiting for this, so we are jumping right to the automated abandoned card recovery. Yeah. The automated abandoned card recovering messages will be sent automatically whenever the app detects an abandoned card on your shop. Uh, a similar template as we had on CRM, you can change the messages that will be sent to your customers on WhatsApp, but also you can include a discount as an extra incentive to recover the abandoned card, which is really smart. We are mostly the vendor developers, but so many merchants are not using abandoned card emails. Like guys, seriously, it's a low hanging fruit. Just grab it. It will increase your conversion rate. Abandoned card messages and emails are crucial. If you just started your Shopify business and you don't have a lot of customers, yet, you can choose the prime plan. And instead of an automated, you can send messages manually, which will take you some time, but you have the chance to truly connect with your customers while recovering their abandoned card, which I really like. It's a touch. Enough of daily tips and let's jump to the WhatsApp share settings. WhatsApp share adds the share button on your Shopify store, which allows your customers to share the content of your store directly from the app. The text is okay. Um, we will enable it and show it to you in action. We are on the mobile again. Click on share and that is it. It was so easy. That's pretty, I love it. All right, guys, this is it for the WhatsApp chat app. Uh, I had so much fun playing around with this app to be honest, but the most important thing is that this app is actually really good. Having in mind that WhatsApp is installed in more than 1.2 billion uh -huh, billion times, you should definitely think about integrating it with your Shopify store. Especially I remember when I lived in Mexico, everyone used WhatsApp there. So, so it really depends on the country or uh, the culture that you're in. Also with the other apps we already reviewed, we had plenty of customization available. With this app, you're a little bit more bound to the existing templates. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week with another video. And before you leave, one more thing I would like to point out, the reason we are reviewing this is because someone asked us about free live chatting apps in the comments. We actually read the comments and if a person asks us, hey, do this app, we'll do it. Like seriously, I'll be like, sure, let's do it. So make sure to comment what you think, what you want, what are your issues with your Shopify store. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in another Shopify ad video. Ciao.